call this regular meeting to order for April the 20th, 2021. Result of the agenda for the April 20th, 2021 regular meeting of council be adopted. Moved by, oh, sorry, amended uh, meeting of council be adopted. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Delorier. All in favor? Opposed? Carry. For those watching on video tonight, <clears throat> you'll notice that there's only three of us in the room, but we do have quorum because Councillor Wintoni and Councillor uh, Deloria are, are attending by Zoom. Results of the minutes of the April 6, 2021 regular council meeting be approved. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. 4, 4.1. Resolved the regular meeting of council be suspended and further that the public hearing for bylaw 3, 2021 be called to order at 7.31 p.m. Moved by Councilor Delorier, second by Councilor Friesen. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. The purpose of the hearings to hear representation, sorry, to hear representation for or against the bylaw number 3 2021 will address the facts the sections of the commercial highway zone has become similar to the commercial central zone. The proposed amendments will allow for more flexibility for business locations to promote economic development. There are also amendments with to increase flexibility for semi-detached dwellings and bare land condominiums. The sections of 169 of the Planning Act have been adhered to. I request that any person making representation to the hearing state their name and civic address. Being none, I will call the uh, hearing closed and adjourned. Resolved the public hearing for bylaw number three, 2021, be closed and further that regular meeting of council be resumed. Moved by <coughs> Councillor White, second by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Communications. Uh, we have the uh, response from the province of Manitoba. On uh, health, healthy seniors and active living, any discussion on that? <coughs> Councilor Delorier. Um, can can you uh, remind me again which what what this letter is in response to? I don't I don't recall the original letter that that you would have sent out, Mr. Mayor. This was a while ago. This yeah. like basically the response is is was is uh, what the restrictions were at that time, and this is this is weeks ago. Okay. So it's definitely changed, but uh, I don't know if it was an email that was sent. Uh, it, okay. it, I believe it was an email, and, and this is more than six weeks ago. This this is oh, a yeah. long time ago on the restrictions and all that. Like this is this is quite a late response. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Councillor White. At some risk, I, I think it's appreciated when the letter was written. That at some risk, I, I just think these people who are in charge of health should be more prompt in their replies. It's an ever changing uh, target. I accept that because I know, that, sir, you have written a letter on behalf of uh, council relative to the uh, to the to the equipment we needed at the hospital, the CT scan, and again an ambivalent answer. So somehow I think we need to nudge them. To be, if where possible, a little more prompt, politely, uh, if they're in command. So it's a little sad that these things are so late in the repos. Okay. So the discussion. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. 
resolve the per per building permits 1321 through 1821 with a total estimated value of $79,000 be received. Moved by Councilor Friesen, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. <coughs> 6 .3. We have Ms. Graham with us tonight and she will uh, make a small uh, presentation or information for us. Thank you. She will hear you. Is that me? Yes. Thank you, Mayor Jacobson. Well, tonight I'm really excited to announce that we, the Town of Swan River Recreation Department, were successful recipients of the Prairie Mountain Health Healthy Together Now grant program. So with these funds that we are receiving, we partnered with the Swan Valley Communities That Care to offer free garden kits to Swan Valley community residents. Along with these kits, we'll be launching virtual garden programming called Green Thumb 101. This programming will be available to anyone at no cost, and it will consist of eight mini garden sessions with Brandy Aggie of Aggie's Greenhouse, and each session will focus on different types of aspects of gardening. So for new gardeners, this will be a fantastic source of support for them to achieve successful gardens and a really great harvest this fall. They'll learn about soil preparation, composting, fertilizers, and container planting. And for the well-seasoned gardener, we're hoping that there'll be a little something for them as well to learn. The Town Recreation is also partnering with Communities in Bloom, so through this, Communities in Bloom are offering mentorship to community residents that would like to come out and participate in planting of the community gardens. And that usually takes place around the first week of June. So for any information or details about how to sign up for these garden kits or to watch the mini garden sessions or to get information on the mentorship opportunity with Communities in Bloom, um, you can follow the Town of Swan River Recreation Facebook page that's also the site where we did all of our, um, our programming this winter for the Safe at Home program. Or they can email me at lgraham at townsr.ca and I will forward any information I can to them. I'm really excited about this program and I'm hoping to be able to offer a lot more things to our community members. Thank you for doing that and, uh, and the work that you've done into this and several other programming efforts that you have brought forward. Does any member of council have any questions on this uh, current uh, announcement? Councilor White. More, more a compliment than uh, comments. It's wonderful that your team does these things for our community. It makes it look better. It's healthier. It's a, it's a wonderful thing for people visiting us. And Lana, you and uh, Councilor uh, Friesen are instrumental in making a lot of that happen. So thank you so much. Thank you. Deputy Mayor Wintoni. I echo uh, Councillor White's uh, comments, but I do have to say, uh, Mrs. Graham, great job and thank you for thinking outside the box when it comes to uh, the pandemic and other activities that can be done uh, via recreation at this time. So kudos to you. Thank you for applying for those grants and thank you for being successful with them. Thank you. Anything further? Okay. Thank you very much and I appreciate you uh, doing that report and, and, uh, and all the other work that you've been doing in, uh, in around uh, bringing those efforts forward and, and uh, extra curricular activities, I guess, that our residents can take advantage of and, and, uh, and get through and to help actually get through the pandemic and, uh, and ease their minds, I guess, and use their minds a little bit differently, I guess, and get outside and enjoy nature too. So thank you. Thank you so much. I really look forward to uh, doing some more programming and coming up with new ideas that I'm really excited about what we have, what we can do in the future. So thank you. Good, thank you. Okay, moving on, 7, 7.1. Resolve that the Director of Public Works report be received. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. 
Officer White, seconded by Councilor Friesen. Discussion? Councilor White. Uh, thank you for the work you do, Derek. Uh, it says corresponding with Urban Forrester. Is there such a person? That, obviously, there's a. Yeah, Kyla Maslan, Maslaniak. Uh, so she coordinates the Dutch Elm Disease Program. Okay. And uh, so they have, uh, they provide KML files for when they do their survey of where the disease trees are. And uh, so we've been going back and forth just a few things like that. She sent a bit info and just her latest thing was they use what three words as another way to georeference the trees. And so they were just asking for feedback on that. But for us, the KML file opens up in Google Earth and then you can see where it is. And they put a big orange band around the trees and the tag. So for us, the KML file and that is sufficient. If you had like a heavier tree area, maybe you use the what three word because then you could go right to that location through the forest. But for all ours, the KML file and the scraping that been is sufficient. I think that's all good stuff. Have you are you keeping the urban forest committee in the loop of what's happening where these trees are potentially going to be cut? Because cutting down trees is at least a sensitive issue in any community. But uh, I think being proactive and communicating with those people uh, might save some uh, debate later on down the road. Yeah, like for the Dutch Elm disease trees, I can send out an email when we get the list that shows where they are. Thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Seven point two. Result of the February 2021 Swan River Handy Transit Van Report be received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, second by Councilor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Council of CAO reports. Councillor Guntoni. Um, I have nothing to report at this time. I have not had any meetings since our last um, discussion. I have nothing to report. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Councillor Delorier. Uh, last Wednesday, I had uh, a uh, pr uh, purchase service negotiation meeting with uh, Swan Valley West. Um, we'll talk about that in camera because we're, we're at a point where we need uh, the rest of council's input, uh, some further direction to, to carry things forward. Um, and then the following night, I had a... Uh, meeting with the watershed district um we went over we we're starting to go over the projects we have uh you know i'm i'm boy that, that is one committee with a lot of different acronyms a lot of different programs i'm just getting my feet wet into it um but uh yeah nothing nothing terribly to report we have another meeting tomorrow night where we're going to give final approval to this year's projects uh, but I understand they've been in contact. Uh, they should have been in contact with you, uh, Mr. Harvey, regarding the uh, the area over by uh, uh, the CN rail tracks over it by what's that uh, fellow's name there? Uh, you guys know who I mean. Anyways, that's all I have to report. Okay, uh, Councillor Friesen. Um, I really didn't have any. Well, I had a community care meeting, <clears throat> and uh, we sadly had to accept Lorianne's resignation. She's uh, concentrating mostly on her new things that she's doing at the Friendship Center. So she will no longer be the community care coordinator. Um, 
she has done an excellent job and we're really going to miss her. Um, I really have not seen other than the... Uh, Lana mentioned the uh, flower beds and stuff. We have a dog the bed a cemetery planned and there's 10 beds out there that people can call their own and we buy the flowers for them. They plant water and weed. And right now we have uh, six already taken. So if anybody's interested, they can contact me or they can contact Lana. Um, hats off to the Lions for their dog park because it's busy all the time. And the Legion Park concession is looking really good. I was down there the other day and it's really coming along nicely. That's it, thank you. And report to say that with the concession of the Legion Park, that's all funds that have been fundraised by minor uh, or by uh, oh. baseball. Yeah. Uh, uh, all the funds are basically being fundraised and it's not uh, coming out from taxpayers donated or fundraised money. It's a really good initiative for Very that group good. to come forward with that. Yeah. Councillor uh, White. Well, just uh, a lot of Zoom meetings. Uh, I think when I looked at the numbers relative to PMH, where we meet regularly, uh, there's a lot of vaccines available now within our community, the AstraZeneca. You have a chance of one in 700,000 of getting sick and uh, more likely to get hit by a car when I leave this meeting. So I can't encourage people to not access that enough. It's not going away. The numbers are increasing in Manitoba as there are in many other provinces. So I can't emphasize enough the distance is washing, uh, the masking, and, and get the vaccine. They're, everyone available has been approved by Health Canada. Uh, to get some risk, sport fish tickets are selling out. That's a drive through dinner, and they're going to do a, a virtual auction also. So it'll be showing up in the Star and Times often now if you want to check the ad. Our community, the whole meeting last week, we talked a lot about budget, trying to keep the lid on the numbers for our community. And I, I, I'm cautiously optimistic it's going to be pretty favorable. Uh, the RCMP, we've been talking in and out, and uh, they're going to have a, a meeting tomorrow, the Swan Valley Business Consortium, where Sergeant Henson is going to bring us up to date on what's happening relative to uh, RCMP dealings. Uh, community Gardens, I can't thank uh, Lana Graham enough and her team. They're doing a great job of trying to make that work. I read in the Protective Services report, and I forgot to mention it, there's discussion of the possibility of a, a mock airport disaster. I don't know anything about it, and somehow somebody will let me know when they get a moment. So uh, I, I throw that out to you. So uh, lots of little things. Uh, the community is doing wonderful. Got to be cautious. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Uh, for myself, I guess, uh, all the basically covered over with the uh, shared services with the town and the Swan Valley West and the uh, meeting that we're looking at to get together with Minnetona's Bozeman to try to get these agreements uh, move forward and, uh, and do what's best in the interests of our uh, ratepayers and services for uh, those people as well and those communities. Um, I've been speaking with the MLA for the last uh, couple days and uh, realize that he's uh, he's under a lot of pressure from other people too but uh, I have to keep reminding about the CT scanner and as Council White said earlier the letter that we received from the minister was not that, that great of a letter and, and so we're pushing forward with this meeting with the Minister uh, of Health to discuss the CT scanner and also the proposed um, uh, hubs and what that looks like uh, I know that during the AMM meeting last week, they did speak a little bit on the hubs and all that, but it was still quite vague, so we're still not getting the full story on what uh, these hubs uh, will look like and what they mean for uh, our region or even the rest of the province of Manitoba. I spoke with the, uh, uh, the MLA also on Main Street West and, uh, and keep probing that, you know, uh, we need to keep uh, that on because really at the end of the day when we do our um, fill spots where we had dug out last year which is in the plans for this year um, according to our budget um, it's still not going to take care of all the other issues that MI has with uh, Main Street West so I've had several people in the last week or even more uh, asking about what's happening with Main Street West so 
uh, we have proposed in our budget that we will uh, repair those spots that we dug up, but it's up to MI to make the decision to uh, do the paving. So we need to keep lobbying, and I know uh, the MLA told me that he was going to walk up and speak uh, to the minister in his office uh, the other day, I guess it was. So hopefully that happened. I haven't spoken with him since uh, that time, but um, we're definitely going to have to keep lobbying for this to, uh, to, get, uh, to get done. Um, I also spoke with him on another item that he was going to look into and get back to me, and that is the Ag Society and, and the trouble that the Ag Society is having right now. I know that's not something of our, you know, in, in our realm, but uh, definitely it's concerning that um, some of the issues with the Ag Society and maybe perhaps not getting provincial funding. And so then I uh, spoke with him and certainly hope that uh, the province can look at that and, and, uh, and consider that funding for our Ag Society because they're in troubled times like a lot of uh, uh, non-profit organizations and they need all our help that we can and uh, we need to uh, lobby the government to, uh, to help them because uh, if we lose our uh, Rodeo or Ag Society, this is not going to be a good thing for our community and uh, it would be a hard thing to bring back, you know, after the fact when all this pandemic is over. So we need to to continue to lobby um, government and, uh, and individuals to make sure that the things that keep our community is, is strong and, and on the map, we need to make sure that those things will continue on and flourish after the pandemic is over. That was basically it for me, um, Mr. Poole. Uh, yeah, we've been working on uh, Budget 2021 that, uh, that's that been advertised on the website and copies in the office. I've heard back from the lawyer on the assistant, uh, uh, executive assistant to the CAO, so that should uh, be progressing here in the next few weeks. Uh, the same lawyer we met for the union negotiation uh, meeting, which we can update council and camera. And I attended the AMM uh, co virtual conference last week. I think the, the virtual conference was, was really well done, uh, really organized. Everyone did a really good job. Uh, just some of the things, uh, the meetings that I attended was uh, uh, the information on uh, Manitoba justice, Manitoba infrastructure and healthcare. Uh, I know those ministers basically gave an overview of, of what they're spending their time on. Like as usual, you always wish you had a little more detail, but uh, uh, I think overall it was it was really good. I attended a leadership workshop as well that uh, that it was provided. And dealing with some local bylaw issues, uh, uh, zoning issue, uh, derelict housing and uh, parking. And like count, some of the councillors have, have mentioned already, we've had a few purchase service uh, discussions over the past week. And uh, hopefully those will get uh, get finalized here in the in the coming weeks. And that's that's about it. Okay. All right. So moving on then. Eight eight point one. Results: of the Northwest Regional Library 2021 budget be accepted as received. Moved by Councillor Delorier, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion. Anything there, Councillor Delorier? Uh, our uh, our share went up by a third of a percent. Um, you'll notice the library budget overall went up uh, by about uh, eighteen thousand um, dollars. That's due to so, uh, some potential one-time or uh, you, you know uh, non-regular expenditures. There, there's possibly some uh, lighting upgrades going to happen. Uh, that, that'll be contingent on a grant and then there's also some money in there for union negotiations but the library is sitting on uh, a, a sizable uh, uh, reserve so the board has opted to use reserve money for those one-time uh, or irregular expenditures okay. for the discussion all in favor opposed it's carried 8.2 result of the uh, 
2021 Northwest Regional Library levy in the amount of $94,248.72 be approved for payment once the audited financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2020 have been received. Moved by Councillor Delorier, second by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Eight point three resolve CEO Derek Poole be appointed the Town of Swan River Access and Privacy Officer effective March first, two thousand and twenty one. Moved by Councilor White, second by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion. Mr. Poole, can you explain maybe what exactly that entails? Uh, it's it's a requirement. We we have to dedicate an officer for any FIPA requests, and the the previous CAO is currently named uh, as that, and uh, just simply needed to be changed. Okay. <clears throat> Further discussion. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Eight point four. Result the town of Swan River sponsor the Swan Valley Employment Training Program for the 2021-22 contract year moved by Councillor Delorier seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni discussion Councillor White is there a number attached to that when you mean sponsor uh no, it's a provincial provincially funded program but uh, they do require a municipality to sponsor or a, a non-profit organization to sponsor the town's been sponsoring for uh for years but there there is no cost to us it's uh funded provincially thank you for the discussion all in favor opposed it's carried Councilor Deloria, on the next uh, resolution, do you have somebody? Yeah, I'd like to put forward uh, Donna Jean Slack as the uh, town's appointee to the library board. Okay, result, result, Donna Jean Slack be appointed to the Northwest Regional Library Board as a citizen member of the town of Swan River. Moved by Councilor Deloria, seconded by Councilor Friesen. Discussion, all in favor? Opposed, it's carried. Be sure to thank her for sitting on the board. Good choice. 8.6, result of the town of Swan River authorized Blaine Healy to hunt and destroy crows within the town of Swan River as a deterrent of the West Nile virus and to be reimbursed as per the attached terms listed in Schedule A, moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 9.1. Resolved the 2021 Swan Valley Regional Initiative for a Strong Economy Levy in the amount of $47,329.55 be approved for payment once the audited financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2020 have been received. Moved by Councillor Delorier, seconded by Councillor White. Um, just to also remind that uh, this amount was the levy that was a agreed upon by the municipalities in that three-year uh, agreement. Discussion? Deputy Mayor Wintoni. I know that this was tabled from our last meeting based on discussion to see our budget moving forward. That didn't happen at the last RISE meeting. I move to table this to our next council meeting. Do we, we need a seconder to uh, table? I don't think so. Once it's tabled, it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the, the budget, uh, the RISE board is meeting tomorrow evening. Is that, that's right? And uh, we'll discuss and uh, approve uh, 
or move forward its uh, budget for 2021. So this will be reserved for our next meeting. 10.1, result of the council as follows be hereby approved for payment. General accounts checks number 27431 to number 27458 as listed on Schedule A, totaling 60,742 and 63 cents. Payroll accounts checks number 4837 to 4841 as listed on Schedule B, totaling 9,933 and 67 cents. Payroll accounts checks number 4842 to number 4847 as listed on Schedule C, totaling $82,026.66. Direct deposits totaling $27,245.89 as listed on Schedule D. Moved by <coughs> Deborah Marwin Tony, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 10.2 Result of the financial statements for the three months end date, March 31st, 2021, be adopted as received. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Councillor Delorier. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. 10.2. Whereas, whereas subsections 306 and 306.1 of the Municipal Act provide that a municipality may cancel or reduce taxes upon receipt of assessment alterations from the Manitoba Assessment Services. Therefore, be it resolved the assessment alterations made by Manitoba Assessment Services on April the 12th, 2021, be made to the 2021 business tax roll with the result reduction amounting to $180.88. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Seconder, Councilor White, discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. 10.4. Whereas the town of Swan River used municipal equipment, materials, and labor to carry out private works on private property under the Municipal Act Clause 252E and set the fees and charges for the works under Clause 252-1A of the Act, and whereas sufficient time has been allowed for payment of such outstanding amounts as listed below. Therefore, be it resolved that each of the unpaid amounts totaling $9,643.23 listed on Schedule A attached be added to the corresponding property tax rule and collected in that manner under subsections 252.2 of the Act. Be it further resolved that notice be sent to the property owner detailing the amounts being added to the taxes and advising that interest will accrue on said amounts in the same manner as for unpaid property taxes effective May 1st, 2021. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 11, 11.1. Resolve the bylaw 1, 2021, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for collection of residential waste and recycling material as a special service for the town of Swan River for 2021, be read a second time. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Councilor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 
11.2, resolve the bylaw 2, 2021, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to administer and enforce the design, construction, erection, placement, and occupancy of new buildings and their alteration of dem sorry, alteration, demolition, and change in occupancy of existing buildings in accordance with the Mantua Building Code be read a second time. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Seconder, Councilor Delorier. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Eleven point three. Resolve the bylaw 3, 2021, being bylaw of the town of Swan River to amend the by zoning bylaw be read a second time. Moved by Councillor White, uh, sorry, Councillor Friesen, seconded by Seconder, Councillor Delorier. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Oh, sorry, Councillor, uh, Deputy Mayor went to me. Sorry, I had a question. Did we move it the first time? Mm, we just had a public hearing, but we didn't move it the first time. First I believe we have, uh, I have to go back. Yeah, we have first reading, sorry. and then you do we the first reading. What's that? We had first reading, and then you do the public hearing. We had first reading. Okay. okay. If we had first reading, we had it like 28 days ago. Or yeah, so. yeah. That's what brings it forward. Because you do All first, good. first reading and then public. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, Thank I, you. I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. But yeah, okay. Um, okay, where was I here? Uh, 11.4, we'll uh, defer that to our next meeting. We, uh, we still have to vote on 11-3. Oh, right, sorry, we do. Okay, resolve the bylaw 3, 2021, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to amend the zoning bylaw, be read a second time. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Eleven seven, resolve the bylaw for 2021, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River. Uh, sorry, being the town of Swan River bylaw enforcement bylaw, be ready first time. Moved by Councilor Friesen, second by Deputy Mayor Mentoni. Discussion. All in favor. Opposed. It's carried. Eleven point eight resolve the bylaw five two thousand twenty one being a town of Swan River Fire Prevention and Emergency Services bylaw be read a first time. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion. What's that? Uh, this one. This the only changes this one has is. Uh, the, the fees were in actually listed in the bylaw, but uh, we changed that to just refer to the fee schedule. Thank you. Yeah, you, you should have the document there too. Yeah. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 11.9. Resolve that pursuits to sections 152 and 3 of the Municipal Act Council go to the committee and close the meeting to the public. Items to be discussed will be purchase services and legal matters. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. We're in camera. 